This will probably end up being about one of the easiest installs you could ever have. All I'm doing on this one is on this Daisy Powerline 880 BB gun. It's got the um, scope that comes with it. It's the Crossman scope. And the scope is so dirty. Well, it's not even dirty. It's just it won't focus and it's very... Um, horrible at picking up any light so just shooting in the backyard in the trees is so dark if I was to aim for something further out than about 10 yards you almost can't even see it so what I want to do is I want to upgrade the scope on this and I'm gonna upgrade it with Daisy's brand of the electronic point sight I uh, just got this in the mail today so Instead of doing a paint job like my wife wants me to, I'm out here fiddling with this. This has the, uh, it's got the rail mount, so it's going to go right in just like the scope is here on these rail mounts. And the way this sight works is when you turn this on, it puts a reflective dot on the image, on the, on the uh, glass in front of the light. The light is actually... Um, coming from right here where this little raised plastic spot is. That's where the actual LED, well I guess LED, you wouldn't call that a LED, laser point is coming out. So when you're shooting something that's what you're that's what you're looking at when you when you go to shoot this is what you're gonna be this is what you're gonna see in the screen. So I'm just gonna pause this while I undo the screws on this. I'm just undoing these two screws here. That takes the scope rings off. These are the scope rings. This is a scope ring. That's a scope ring. This is the scope. So I'm just going to take these off, slide this out, and then I'm just going to slide this in on the rail and then position it. I'm not sure if it's going to have to go on the front here, if it's going to kind of go over the middle or towards the back. Uh, that's personal preference on where the focus is and how you set your cheek against the side of the gun. How close or how far back, how short or long your arms are, that sort of thing. So let me take this apart and install the new piece and I'm just going to get it set on there and I'll come back and get started to show you how it looks when you're shooting. So here's the electronic point sight and I've got the old scope off here. Like I said, it was just a matter of loosening those two screws and then just sliding it off the top of the rail. And then I've got the, so you can see the rail on the back here and there's another rail on the front. This is where the BBs are loaded individually. So there's two screws on the side of this. Probably took me maybe 30 seconds to a minute to take the old one off and put this on. This is the direction um, you don't look. You look through this end here where it's open. You don't look through the glass first. You might feel like this is kind of like a scope and you're looking through a scope, but you're not using this as a scope. Um, there's, I don't believe there's any magnification on this. I'll have to pick it up and mess with it a little bit more to shoot a couple times and see what it looks like shooting but that was a pretty easy swap um, hopefully it's a quick and easy update and upgrades the rifle because the scope was almost unusable it might have even better just to use open sight it is nice to have a little bit of zoom so this does have the you know it's the 4x15 but it would be nice to have some zoom maybe even in an adjustable zoom but looking at scopes you know, this is $9.99 for this little um, electronic point sight, but I'd probably spend closer to about 50 to get a scope that was adjustable, that was just a real cheap little scope, just something that's adjustable for the zoom. But I'm just gonna take a couple shots with this real quick and then get back to you on what it's like to install this and use it for a minute. So what I did was, 
I'm shooting at this area right here in the middle that open empty rectangle it's about the size of a business card and as you can see most of the shots are over to the right um, there is a bit of an adjustment that you can do if you just twist you can twist this you can actually twist this left or right so I needed to go I need to bring it further to the left so I moved the scope to the right and that's pulling me further over to the left with the with the rifle so um, it's pretty accurate took a crack at a big dead branch up here on this tree right up there that big dead branch off to the right and two out of three I hit it a branch is probably only a inch and a half in diameter so I'm probably 25 yards away and I can hit that with the BB gun so if I'm shooting at something like a, a bird or a squirrel typically I don't I don't shoot squirrels to try to kill them uh, but I do try to deter them from eating on our bird feeders from time to time if they can if outwit the squirrel baffles we have on the feeder as you may have run into on your own so I'd say this is a lot easier to use you know make sure you turn it off off is to the right on is to the left there's a little plastic tab that's in here on the battery side and you just pull that little tab out and that's what's going to make it so that it starts I did see a review that said somebody said that they pulled the tab out and the light never came on and yeah that's possible if the tab maybe wasn't set all the way in between the battery and the terminal so that the battery is just on and being used all the time but mine popped right on it's really bright if you're shooting up some at something up close what's going to happen is that that little dot that I'm looking at um, at a distance you know it kind of covers that whole section you know I can kind of I can see where I'm shooting at in that little uh, business card size uh, shape on the box but if I was shooting at something up close then I would think that lights gonna be so big it's it's just gonna cover the entire um, object that I'm shooting at so I don't know how it, may, it might that might be reverse I haven't thought much about it um, I did see that in a review that somebody said that the the dot is so big that it covers what object you're shooting at but I didn't really run into that so anyway this is just a fun little product review um, for the afternoon here just figured I'd swap this out real quick and the uh, the scope is available on Amazon I've seen this crossman scope so you can buy that scope by itself if you're looking for a scope but I took the scope off it came with this rifle I took the scope off and um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I just wanted to swap this out uh, for this pretty much it's a red dot sight I guess you could just say it's a red dot sight so that's what I swapped it for easy install if you like the video then actually click the like button if you subscribe to the channel uh, that would help me out a lot I'm trying to get as many subscriptions as I can the channels seems like it's doing pretty well I'm getting a lot of action on a motorcycle crash video that I've got posted right now but um, can't always have your friends crashing in front of you on a motorcycle so I'm trying to do some reviews and try to get some product information out so if people are just looking to purchase these kind of things and I can just help with that so that's what I'm doing right now and if you uh, if you're interested in um, getting notifications I believe instead of just subscribing I believe you maybe also need to hit the notification bell for anything new that pops up um, appreciate the appreciation on the other videos that I've made and continue watching and I'll come back again soon with another product review